skip and I got a little one as you get fussy, so. Perfect, perfect. Um, I want to say, first off, thank you to Chris for doing your oath. The rest of you sound like a bunch of tyrants. But anyway, uh, my name's Michael. I go by Solo Yacker on YouTube. You can look this up, too, after you're done. Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity. Do ordain, establish this Constitution of the United States of America. Title 18, 242, deprivation of rights. You should know this, Dan, over there. It makes it a crime for a person under the color of law to willfully deprive a person or a person of a right or privilege protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. Punishments. The punishments are up to a year imprisonment or fine or both. If bodily injury occurs, you can be fined or put in prison up to 10 years. If death is a result, you can be fined put in prison for any amount of years, or put to death. Warren versus District of Columbia. The police do not owe a specific duty to protect us. If this gentleman over here has no duty to protect us, none of you all on this panel have any protection to do anything for me. I have the ability to do what I want, when I want, how I want. This is our country, not your country. It is not your job to tell me what to do, put on a mask. If you want to Give health risk and blah, blah, blah. Tell people, hey, this is a concern. Stay at home, wear a mask. That's all you can do. Do you want to start mandating people to wear stuff? Trust me. These guys probably already know who I am because I walk around here with an AR-15. All right? I will audit you day in and day out. I see any of you without a mask on, I will personally call the police on you just so that you get that fine. Because if you guys can't even abide by your own rules, then I'm going to sit here and audit you. Especially you, Kathy, and especially you, Franny. Franny, you're a tyrant. A tyrant. I don't care. You're, you need to go. And for anybody in here, this is election year. Get all these people except for this guy, Chris. Chris, he's, he seems like he's doing a good job. But the rest of us? Yeah, tell him. Tell him, Oceana. That's all we hear is blah, 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 blah. That's all I'm hearing from all these people. Dan, you should be actually telling these people that they can't mandate this. Right. There's four counties that are still under the state of emergency, and St. Lucie County ain't one of them. If you want to see all that stuff, go to Palm Beach, Monroe, Miami-Dade, and Broward. So uh, honor your oath and stop being a bunch of tyrants except for this guy, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for not being a tyrant. Appreciate that. Is there somebody else who would like to speak? Freaking piece of crap, dude, I swear.